from Vermonster, which is a software consulting company uh, downtown. And uh, so I'm, I was asked to present um, basically a data visualization that a few people from my company and I did uh, for a city of Boston hackathon slash competition. Um, not actually a startup, not actually a company. Um, it's a data visualization. Um, uh, and uh, so basically uh, the goal was to take a public and a private data set and do something interesting with some kind of social utility to it. Uh, and so what we decided on was looking at uh, bicycle safety in Boston. And uh, when we started, um, there had been some sort of recent research in, in the area, um, the Boston Area Research Exchange uh, uh, Research Initiative. Um, basically looked at a data set of bicycle crashes um, that were serious enough to um, require 911 from 2009 to 2012. Um, and they, uh, they looked at the crashes and looked at hot spots where there were a lot of collisions, but they didn't um, consider the effect of bike lanes or actually look at uh, traffic in sort of a quantitative sense. Um, because just because certain streets or certain areas might have a lot of crashes doesn't necessarily mean that those streets are, uh, are dangerous. It might mean there's just a lot of traffic there. So um, one of the uh, companies that uh, it's one of the private data sets was from Runkeeper. And Hopefully this is this is relevant in that uh, you guys are collecting lots of data in your startups, and some of those things might actually have some some uh, usefulness for public policy. Um, so Runkeeper um, you can sort of see in blue. Um, that's they're basically an app that you can use when you're working out um, to track your workouts and, and map them out later. And it's not a perfect unbiased sample, but you can use that to get a sense of. Um, or actually it's in green, sorry. You can use that to get a sense of uh, which streets in Boston are most traveled. Um, and uh, that's that's pretty useful um, uh, and can provide, provide that aspect. And then we also took data on um, where bike lanes were and when they were added. Uh, and finally then, then we took um, uh, the collision data from the, the Boston Area Research uh, Initiative report um, and then Basically, mash them all together to try to, to try to answer quantitatively um, what the effect of adding bike lanes is on the ratio of collisions to traffic. Um, so, really trying to get at the root issue there. And uh, so, um, basically, we found uh, that collisions on bike lanes happen less frequently relative to traffic than off bike lanes, which is what you'd expect but that some of the streets that um, were most dangerous, that had the most uh, collisions, um, which are sort of represented by those, those green bars, um, are not actually the most dangerous if you, if you take this as the meaning of dangerous. Um, so uh, basically, um, in terms of like the actual conclusions themselves or in terms of the details of data analysis, uh, this was a one week project, so um, you know, the, the, these conclusions uh, both aren't entirely relevant here and should be taken with a grain of salt, but I think the general idea of trying to take data that your startup or your company might, might collect and think about what usefulness it might have um, in an analysis like this, uh, uh, you know, is, is a good thing to do. Um, and uh, it might get you some good press, like hopefully Runkeeper got from, from this, uh, uh, and also might do some good things. So, uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Should I take questions? Yeah, no questions. So what was your, um, your back end database to store the data? Was you used R for statistical purposes? Yeah. And move for, you know, visualization. But what was the back end database? Right, so I mean, we, we basically just had three giant spreadsheets of data from each of our sources, and we used a combination of R and Ruby just to, to munge it and reformat it. Uh, and then from there, actually, we were able to load it directly into Tableau for doing the visualizations. Yep. Um, embedding Tableau in your website, did you, I'm familiar with the Tableau desktop software. Mm -hmm. um, how easy was it to embed that in the HTML. Right, so Tab Tableau uh, offers facilities for you to publish online your, your, your visualizations, mm -hmm. and then we just put those in iframes. Okay. Yeah. Did, did you cover 
Charlie uh, with traffic accidents as well as, you know, that had nothing to do with bicycles? Oh, with, with, with the, nothing to do with bicycles. No, uh, we, we just had a data set on, on specifically bike collisions, but that would be interesting. Um, yeah, because, I mean, I don't know, Blue Hill Avenue was one of the, the worst uh, offenders, and uh, I, I, I've heard things about Blue Hill Avenue, um, so <laughs> I don't know. Anyone else? Yeah. Do you ride a bike? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Other people in my office are... are Big, but big time bike riders. Me, me, a little bit less so. But. Did, did this survey, did this data, uh, sway them to, to avoid certain streets? Or? You know, uh, actually, most of them are biking in for like from Cambridge, okay. so uh, we didn't include. We, we weren't allowed to include that in our analysis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this was kind of a, a one time project. We we did have a little bit of back and forth with the city afterwards. Um, but yeah, we were just asked to present this visualization. We label profile the drivers. No, I, I don't think so. Yeah. More importantly, what's the city doing with that? That's a good question. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I mean, I, I think it, we didn't do uncer any uncertainty analysis. Their own keeper data set might be biased. We tried to account for that a little bit. But hopefully, they took it and expanded on it. Sorry. So, uh, what, this is part of a hackathon, is that right? Yeah. So, I don't know if this is easy to answer or not, but like, when did you like you come into the hackathon with the idea, or did they come in and they just show you, here's tons of data, and then you just walked around and said, what can we do? That, that's pretty much what we did. Yeah, we, we brainstormed a bunch. But, yeah. I'd like to know, like, how would you decide where the first or main aspects of the data when you yeah, um, that's a good question. Um, I guess uh, it was probably the, the fact that a lot of people in the company bike, and we saw this data, this data set, and it, it jumped out of us. So we tried to figure out what we could do with it. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, if I, I forget the exact sort of. URL, but, but the city of Boston has like this site with all of its public data sets. Um, Socrata, yeah, I think that yeah, um, and it, it's great. They have a lot of a lot of things there. It might actually be useful um, for a com for a company as well. Um, yeah, it's, it's a good place to look. If I'm not mistaken, your data set included a time period in which there were a lot of bike lanes installed in Boston. Right. So that that would be a good um, idea, right? Uh, that I don't I don't I forget if we did that. That would be a really good idea. We we did look at sort of this is uh, you know uh, a bit more anecdotal, but you can see that f for certain. Oh, so so uh, yeah, I think Blue Hill Avenue might have a lot of the collisions on it might have been before the bike lane there was installed. So. That actually, it might actually not be as dangerous now. Um, I forget if we did that systematically. That would be a good thing to do. Um, yeah. Thank you.